Warning. The following audio may contain coarse language, as well as discussion of material that may not be suitable for younger audiences. Listener discretion is advised. Also, we may spoil just about anything that pops into our heads. We hope you enjoy. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Xenotaku, the show where we talk about anime. Look, I can't think of anything better. All right, just roll with it. Uh, I am Xenote, and I am joined once again by Mr. Flats. Yo! And also joining us is Aaron. Hi. Hi, I'm Aaron. <laughs> yes, that is who you are. Congratulations. <laughs> this is my third time here, I think, for now, until uh, the right bus arrives. And, you know, today, uh, it's a very important day because the results to the dreaded Anime Awards finally arrived. And we're going to talk about them. Yes, we Except are. we're not. The, what, what do you uh, mean we're no, not? we're not. Hey! We're not talking about them. This is uh, my fucking channel, you ass! So, this video was supposed to be about the Crunchyroll Anime Awards results, but I've decided to hijack it last minute because that was a terrible idea. There is a lot to hate about the Anime Awards and how they help artificially streamline anime in the worst possible way, but we shouldn't really talk about it. This sort of hate is also engagement after all, and the best way to not give them that engagement is not participating at all. If you want a quick reaction anyway, the Anime Awards aren't good. I know. So I want to talk about something good instead. The people over at the Sakuga blog recently released Sakuga Boru Animation Awards 2021, which is a post where more informed people, in collaboration with anime industry figures like Tina, Ken Yamamoto, or Francisca Van Wolfen, actually individually highlight their favorites of the year. The picks are varied and interesting, and every word is worth a read, so when I release Zeno from my basement, and assuming the shock isn't too great anyway, he'll put a link in the video description. Yeah, 